Welcome to How to Repair Your Own Legend Now. We appreciate your coming here and getting information from us. And we've just got a little bit of some bookkeeping kinds of things here to go over with you as we start. We're going to cover the four areas of this that, that we feel are really important. We call that assess, correct, make over, and monitor. So we're going to cover those things. We would like you there on the webinar, you can type in questions to us. You can see that right there on your screen right now. Uh, we can't get to all these questions right here. We know that. I'll be monitoring over here as Dr. Mark is doing some other things over there. I'll be monitoring what these questions are and I'll jot down some of these questions and we'll answer some in those four areas. And every time we finish an area, we'll answer a couple questions, maybe one or two questions and then right. we'll move on. But rest assured, I mean, feel free to put in uh, your questions down because we will yes. answer all of your questions. It's just that the ones we can't get to during the webinar itself, we're going to send you back by email. Right, we'll email you. And if you send us a really awesome question, we may actually create a whole podcast about it uh, separately afterwards because we love to answer questions. Okay, now, Charles, who um, is a consultant from Washington, D.C., um, and he says... And we know there's no dirt flying around down in that oh, town. Oh, nothing, huh? nothing in Washington. Nothing could hurt no, you. No, no, it right? doesn't matter which party he's in. There's nothing ever going on in, D in D.C. But he said he has searched himself on Google and Bing, so he heard us not to just do right, Google. Not just one. It's yeah. good to, to do others. And he found something on page two. This is the reason that I selected this well, one. Okay, sorry sorry for the joke about Washington, but it proves yeah. the uh, Yeah, yeah well, he, did, he didn't like something. Yeah. on. It was right. page two. on. He, he didn't indicate to me whether it was Google or Bing, but it doesn't really matter. On page two, he found something that he really didn't like. And he said that he needs some professional help. Um, and what should I do now? How do I get rid of it? So that's really two questions. How do I get rid of it? Right. And what do I do now? Well, let's, let's talk about getting rid of, because it's yeah. a pet peeve of mine. I mean, you'll, mine you'll find people online... Uh, charging some pretty hefty fees, claiming that they are going to remove negative information about you off the internet. Well, I would love to know how they think they're going to do that. I mean, other than certainly you can approach a webmaster of somebody else's website and ask them politely to remove something, but you have absolutely no authority or control to do that. It is nearly impossible. And the other thing is, even if that person did say yes and they're going to remove it, I just double checked this. I, I forget the name of the site. You you told me uh, this URL. It's, some, it's one of these really deep archives. Yes. And I found a website that I put up, you know, ten years ago. Literally ten years ago. The website doesn't exist. I don't own the domain, but I can go through this archive site and see everything I put on that website. So you can never remove anything. The internet is forever, folks, forever. But so. Dr. Mark, I get 404 pages telling me that that doesn't exist anymore. That's right. So How do I? What, what, what are you talking about? It, it doesn't exist on the original site. Correct. But it exists all over the internet in mirror sites, in index sites, in archives. I mean, there are people who have made it their mission to simply keep a real-time record of the entire World Wide Web from its from its inception. Uh, you know. S memory space has gotten cheaper and cheaper. I just, oh, yeah. you know, I think I told somebody the other day, I mean, I was walking through the checkout line and, you know, there's a little thing for four You're gigabytes talking. and it was like $12 or something like that. I mean, there yeah. are server farms full of uh, space. These guys are saving everything. So, okay, back to Charles here. Right, so um, you can't get rid of it, Charles, but your other part of the question what should was, I do what now? should you do? Well, okay, so short of getting rid of things, you can, however, dominate search results by being a very active producer of content, and that's really what we're talking about here. Uh, and we'll talk about how you can do that. But you've already got something on page two. Now, by my definition, that puts you kind of in, I don't know how bad the thing you found is, but clearly right. you don't like it. So you're, you're in kind of the emergency category. So right off the bat, I would obviously say to come over to our site, repairyourownlegendnow.com. Right. Enter your name and email address that takes you to the inside page where you're getting. Where you get to see all this information. You're getting all we're the information about. we're talking about now, but then enter your name, information, your phone number in the upper right hand corner of that inside page. That's our emergency kind of page. It sends your information only directly to us, it doesn't go to anyone else, but None directly our to our inbox. Uh, right. And we will contact you personally and get on it and talk to you about the the emergency kind of treatment that you can do. That goes beyond what we're covering today, though, so I'm going to leave it at that. And that's uh, for everybody. That's not just for Charles, obviously. Absolutely. If somebody feels if you, that you really stuff, have something that you don't feel you can handle this by yourself, you've really got a problem, things are looking pretty bleak, you need some help, we want you to feel that you can go in there on the inside page once you've registered at repairyourownlegendnow.com 
then go ahead and you've got to put that information in again so that we know who, exactly who it is. And then we're going to ask for your phone number. We'll call you. We'll set up a time where we can chat more particularly. We may have a, some things just to give you. We may want to tweak something in your mind. You may need us to go do some things depending on where things go. Well, we're going so we we to have to move that. along here, Charlie, because I... Hi, this is Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Osmond. And when you search your name online, what do you find? That's right. You, we always recommend that you go to Google, go to the search engine, search yourself, your keywords, do an assessment, look at what you find. Is that an accurate reflection of who you are and how you want to appear to people when they look for you? That's right, because we have Create Your Own Legend now, and we're helping people really build up that legend about themselves online so that when people search for them, they really see the side of them that they want. And it's three to ten pages deep of information about you that you control. But Charlie, but what happens when you do that assessment, you're in those first three pages and you find either it's not a good reflection of you or someone has posted negative reviews about you or negative information or inaccurate information. What are right. you supposed to do? People exactly. keep asking us that. People keep coming to us about that. So we're going to cover that in this webinar. I'm really thrilled with the outline that we've come up with for this webinar. So on Tuesday, we want you to join us on this webinar. See what it is to create that legend about yourself. Grow that personal side of you that other people can see. But when there's a problem, you need to be able to take care of that. And that's what we're going to be able to help you with on this webinar. That's right. So just click the link here. Go to the registration page. We're going to give you our four-part system for how you're going to repair going to your own to you. legend. And you can choose on the registration form what time on Tuesday is going to work best for you. We're going to do this a couple of times on Tuesday. Right. So. Click that link, go sign up for this webinar, and learn how to create your own legend, and if there's a problem, how to repair your own legend now. Join us on the webinar.